Yeah, there goes the girls. Oh, my battery is looking like it's going flat again. Um, as you can see, we're using this old fryer, which is very much like the other one on YouTube, which is which has currently been built and made. And we're going to try and do the same thing. Um, right, just going to show you the underside of it. Nothing has been wired into it yet. We've still got the element in there. We need to take that out. My brother seems to think that we can use that to preheat the oil, but he's took all the electronics off it because that's the reason why the fryer was broken originally. Um, it was working, um, but the thermostat had died on it, so the, the heating element was solidly on. So the heating element still works, it's just the thermostat's died. So if we can get another thermostat for about 90 degrees or, so, or something, then it'll work really good. Um, right, as you can see with this one, it's just really simply just tacked on here with a bit of um, weld. The coupling does move free. Now the way we're going to make that adjustable is we're going to have a... Um, but just a jubilee clip around it. One of uh, try and find it. If you guys know what a jubilee clip is, yeah, there you go. We're going to put one of these around it with just a bit of a handle welded onto it uh, to turn it up and down with. Just nice, something nice and simple. I know it's not ideal, but it'll do. Uh, you can still remove it. So something like that around it with a little handle on it to turn it up and down. But in the testing, in in the in the testing. Um, uh, time. What am I going to? Oh, it's starting to rain. <laughs> Can you outside on the roof? Uh, in the testing times, we're just going to use uh, have it as it is and just turn it up and down. You know, as we go. This is going to be the sump. This is going to be filled full of oil. We're going to use. Don't know if it's going to work or not. A car fuel pump with an oil catch on it. Now it is a fuel pump, for, so it's only really for watery type lightness, but this pump has been through hell and back, literally. It's been used to pump wax oil, uh, the stuff that, you know, cavity wax for a car to stop it from rusting from the inside. It's been used to pump uh, oil from barrel to barrel. You name it, it's been done. It's also been used as a water pump, and it still works. Um, it's been through absolute hell. Uh, it's a water, it's a, it's a fuel pump. Alright, where was I? Sorry about that. The battery went flat. I did say it was going to go. Um... Yeah, so I can't remember where I was at now, so I'm just going to start again and edit the bits out that I don't need. Uh, yeah, we're going to use a Jubilee clip, weld a bit onto it, and that's going to be the collar. Now the heating element, we're going to run it, uh, the idea is, uh, with that, would be to run it, say, off a car temperature sensor, a radiator fan, because that gets to about 90 degrees and then the fan kicks in. Well, we can run that through a relay so that that can get to... 20, uh, uh, 90 degrees and then it'll turn a relay on which will then turn this heating element on um, but obviously when it gets to over 90 degrees it turns the element off for us now if we put that on say a trip switch it'll hit uh, 90 degrees from cold and then it'll turn itself off until the, twi the trip switch is reset um, now, obviously, that trip switch could be something as simple as a cold sensor, which uh, which which, which uh, only makes the heating element come on when the oil drops below, say, I don't know, 50 degrees, maybe. I don't know, something like that. Something we've got to experiment with. All, they're all variable, all these variables are all variable. <laughs> uh, something we've got to test out. All right, yes, and the, uh, the oil pump, what we've got in here, is um is a pump off a it's a fuel pump but like I say we're going to try and get it to pump oil and it came off a Fiat Punto Mark One uh, two point what one point two liter engine so it's from off the one point two I think it was the sixteen valve it came off it's a two bar pump so that's two bar thirty psi isn't it so about thirty psi it runs at. Uh, that's a rough, obviously. Roughly 30 psi. It's not, not accurate. It's just rule of thumb, really. It's about 15 psi is what one bar is. Well, 14.8 in it, something like that. Whatever, anyway. Right, I'm going to get back to building this thing again, so I'll catch you on a bit, people. <laughs> 